guys, we're back with another video. Um, we're here with our guys Greg and Nina. We met these guys a few weeks ago back in Cali and it was a great time meeting them, fellowship with them, with them and uh, really just getting to know them, just to you know know who they are and see what he's going into this week. We, we talked to them right before uh, Greg went into the draft and now Greg is on the Buffalo Bills. Looking at somebody who was a high school safety and wide receiver. Wow. He's just figuring this whole thing out. In one year as a starter at Miami, he had 15 and a half sacks. Nina alongside with him, they were there at the uh, in, in Cleveland, having a great old time there on private planes. It was going crazy. I was like kind of jealous over here. I'm like, man, they go on private planes now? What the heck? Is that, has that always been a thing? Like, <laughs> I don't you think You know what so. I saw? This is what I saw the other day. This is so off topic, but I saw that the Rams have like a house. Yeah, that was, oh, I saw that, that too. Draft house. Yeah. Draft house yeah. Like, hello? Yeah, sick. that yeah. looks really nice. It's huge. Yeah. Right? It's like a little TikTok house. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, i to interview these guys, get to know these guys a little bit. Um, Shane's going to start off some questions uh, to get to know these guys a little bit more. So, hope you guys are ready. Appreciate you guys coming in here and uh, getting some yeah, getting some, getting some answers from you guys like from, from the cuffing season. But, you know, yeah. it's always cuffing season. <laughs> So. Cuffing season, and it's all around NFL wife routine. So we're gonna ask mm -hmm. you guys relationship questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so question number one: How did you guys meet? You ready this one? Yeah, I do this one. I do this one. So, so her best friend from high school, they played volleyball together. Her best friend went to Miami with me. So mm -hmm. then, like, I met her best friend. I didn't know Nina yet, but me and her, me and her best friend were like just kind of friends. You know, just like hanging out and stuff. And then one time, I think she called you. She called me. Yeah, she FaceTimed me. We were just talking. Yeah, and then, like, so, like, she FaceTimed Nina, and I started talking to Nina, you know, just, like, chilling and stuff. And then, like, we heard Nina was coming down for spring break. And then she was like, yeah, you should, y'all should meet each other. Y'all should, like, hang out or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we hung out. And then from, from that point on, <laughs> we were just solid. It was right. Yeah, I see how it is. It was I right. Right. <laughs> he's, he's learning there. He knew what he wanted. Right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> On a mission. That's funny, man. I mean, like, so, so, so then from then, which was like, what year was that? That was like 2018, like, like May. Yeah. Yeah. But it was March when we met. And then May, like, I came back home to visit my family for the summer. And we were just like, oh, let's hang out. Like, I asked him to hang out thinking he was just going to be like, yeah, whatever, you know. And then, like, we weren't going to hang out. But he said, yeah. yeah. He's like, I have to check with my parents. So I was like, oh my God. Like, yeah, I didn't have, have a car. Parents. I didn't have a car back then. So, like, I needed, like, the whip to, like, right. slide on or whatever. So I was like, yeah, I got to ask my parents. Yeah. And then he ended up coming through. Ever yeah. since then, we hung out, like, every like, all the time. Day. Yeah. That is cutest. And, and Nina, you played, <laughs> and you played a sport at the time, right? Yeah, I played volleyball at NC yeah. State. So, so, like, how, how hard was that to, like, Try to get on each other's schedule. Yeah, I mean, like it was tough because, like, basically, Miami, we're like we were like a morning practice team. Yeah. So once I'd be done with practice, and I'd like text her, like, "What's up, Nina?" This I'd and be that. Starting. She'd be starting practice, uh -oh. and so she'd yeah. be in so I'd finish around noon, and then she'd be in practice till like four or five o'clock, and then yeah. I'd I'd literally like get to have like a real combo with her at like seven or six maybe. Yeah. Like, and then we'd Facetime every night, like. What, like eight o'clock? Yeah, until like we we would sleep on FaceTime. So like yeah. majority of our time that we would talk would be like end of the day mm -hmm. until like the next morning. And then we have class. Like our schedules would flip, like he said. So I'd have class and he'd have practice, or he'd have or he'd have class and I'd have practice. Yeah. So mm -hmm. during the day was a lot. That's crazy because I don't know how you guys did that, honestly, because I I was on the gymnastics team all four years, but the last year I was injured and so I just medicaled. And I was yeah. like I don't know how I would have handled his schedule. Mm. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to, like, do a sport. Mm. And, yeah. like, yeah. I don't know. Like, you guys right. are superstars right. over here because... Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like for us, it, right. was, it was easier because, like, when we first met and we, like, first actually started dating, like, we never really were, like, okay, let's, like, we're dating. But we were, like, it was kind of, like, known. Yeah. But we were, like, let's yeah. just figure it out as we go. Yeah. So like I just left and we were like we were like let's just keep figuring this out and we would talk and then it started just like working and then we got into a routine. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. So, so here's so here's the thing like some people may be thinking like y'all at the same school but y'all at different schools on different schedules. Yeah. 
And so yeah. I know yeah. many people would just try to think like, how how is this even working? Like, y'all are different schools, different schedules. Like, how did y'all manage to, you know, just make it work? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think something that really helped us was we always like, like we would ask each other, like, when are you busy and when are you free? Mm -hmm. So like, I would know when he was in practice, so I wouldn't be mad. Like, he's not answering me right now. Like, why is he, is he ignoring me or whatever? And yeah. vice versa. So we would know what each other's schedules were. And then mostly like on the weekend, we'd FaceTime like all day. <laughs> yeah, like, it, like, like if I didn't have a game though, like in the yeah. off season, like we'd face them all day. Like the season, the season was probably the hardest hard. part, but yeah. like, cause like basically on Fridays before our games, I'd be like in the hotel and have some free time. But then she'd be playing a game. Yeah, volleyball. we had the same season. They played their games on Fridays and Sundays. And we play on Saturdays. So mm -hmm. on Saturdays, when she'd have a little bit of free time, I'd be playing the game. Yeah. So then it's like, then it'd flip again on Sunday. And like, it was just, it was tough for sure. But like, but like it was we, awesome we were days. always busy though. So like, yeah. At the same time, as hard as it was, like, we weren't really too focused on, like, all, oh, like, yeah. the time and stuff, you know? Because we were always doing something at all times. Yeah, yeah. I love that because that shows how genuine you guys are because yeah. it's really hard to find people, especially athletes, like, guys and girls who are, like, willing to commit to time, spending mm -hmm. time with people. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. a lot of times you hear, like, you know, oh, he doesn't want to, like, get on the phone or he's not going to talk to me today or like mm. random stuff but it shows yeah. like even before you guys were like all right let's do this it's like you guys are spend taking time to spend time with each other for sure yeah, yeah. i think it's just like being an athlete dating an athlete you kind of know you know the struggle and you know like right. all right if they say they're busy like they're probably busy right. so it's just yeah. like Cool. It actually helps a lot too because I feel like a lot of times like when we have like talk with couples some of the girls weren't an athlete before and they don't get it don't like get they it. don't understand yeah. Yeah. It, you know so yeah. like being an athlete and actually being able to like no. understand yeah, and know no. how it goes like you can't be texting yeah. during practice but sometimes girls are like oh he's not texting me during practice yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know <laughs> like get you on the field like running around with a phone <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> But there would be sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Like after I got my Apple Watch, like I would I would like wear my. Our coach didn't really care at the time, so mm -hmm. I wear my Apple Watch to practice. But our our bags were in the locker room, so sometimes I'd have a little bit of service and I'd try and like sneak in like a little text message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like that was it. That's when you know. That's when you know you like him because I'd right. be the one going down <laughs> to the locker room and like. <laughs> yeah, I'd be locked, like, um, I'm trying to say something really quick. Like I gotta go, but. Like, I'll see you after. I'll talk to you later. But yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so perfect. That's good. Okay, I'll, I'll ask a question now. Oh, no, actually, here. You ask this one, and I'll leave. these. You ask that one. Oh, yeah. How did sitting out this year affect your relationship? Uh, I feel like it was really chill, because when I went up to Pensacola, the train, Nina came up there with me, and we were just, yeah. like, we are just chilling, like, watching TV. We'd go to the beach. It yeah. was, like, really beautiful up there because, like, one of the nicest beaches in the world. So we had a really good time, for sure, I'd say. Yeah, and, like, that was the first, like, time that we really got to be together mm -hmm. since we were long distance, our entire relationship. Mm -hmm. So, like, we really got to, like, spend more time with each other and do things that we wanted to do. But at the same time, like, he was trying to be more chill because, like, he was working out, like, twice a day for, like, six hours total. Yeah. But, like, we definitely got to know each other better. So, yeah. it was a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. I remember, um, I remember when you guys were, like, first moving into the place in Florida. <laughs> and I was like, this is so sweet because, like, yeah. I knew that you guys had been long distance, which means you guys right. get to be together now. And that's always such yeah. an interesting dynamic, like, being from, like... Because we got married right after being long distance. So, we were <laughs> long distance up until like maybe one month and then we got married so it was like yeah. it's really weird but it's really fun like spending time with each other like that makes such a difference for your relationship and i'm sure you guys had so much time to be able to do that which is so yeah cool. yeah just the reason why like that was a the reason why that was like a question is because like you know sitting out people can be nervous like oh like am i am i yeah. gonna be getting uh earlier people still gonna be interested in me or is just like yeah. Um, how the dynamic is, but you two like, oh, is this a better for our relationship? Is this worse for our relationship? So it was just like a question that, you know, it was just kind of like we had to ask because that's an interesting question, you know? Yeah, yeah it is. No, it definitely. I is. mean, I think also since I opted out too, like we both opted out, mm -hmm. so it was kind of like we were kind of going through similar things, but like, yeah. I mean, I thought I knew what he was experiencing at first because he was he was upset, you know, sometimes because he's like damn like I wish I was out there with my boys right now playing yeah. it was so boring 
and it's like so yeah like he would be upset about it you know and then mm -hmm. i'll be like it's okay babe like you know once you get back into it like it'll be worth it once you yeah. get in the nfl right. but like i didn't really truly understand what he meant until i quit volleyball because i was supposed to go back in january mm -hmm. but i actually quit i actually quit like when did i quit i opted out again and then i quit like two months ago like march yeah and then i knew i wanted to quit but like and i was fine with it but once i said it and like told my coaches like i was like crying yeah. for a little yeah. bit and i was like i don't know why i'm crying because like Tough. i didn't want to play anymore but like once i like said the words and i knew like i couldn't go back i'm never gonna play volleyball again like yeah. i was sad and i was like damn i know what you felt like like you're gonna yeah, miss your it team definitely days. took a piece out of the heart for sure yeah for sure it's like such a party view and people like I don't think people understand, like, sports are, like, yeah. literally yeah. your identity in a way, yeah. which it shouldn't be, right? Yeah. But, like, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but, like, right. <laughs> right. Right. like that's, all, that's all you really know, like, in high school and stuff like that, like, that's what you focus like, most of your time doing, right. and then in college, that's, like, your entire identity, like, people know you because you're on whatever team that you're on, so yeah. it's just, like. Like, like, my freshman year, I broke my ankle, the second game of the season, like, for a couple of, like, weeks i was like just lost like i didn't know who i even was like you know like you just have to and like i had to really just focus on my rehab and really just stop thinking about football so much because like it'll drive you crazy you know oh actually to get deep that's how juan felt like i feel like maybe you're yeah it your was junior year like he had a major identity crisis when well, yeah it was yeah it was like when i got hurt at penn state and it was just like it's a whole bunch because that was just a rough year and things like that and you know, that's when, you know, it starts to tap into your relationship and, and that's yeah. when you don't want it to get to. So mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of times you want to separate, you know, your relationship from the actual sport that you play and even your identity because yeah. you just kind of like figure out just a lot of things. And a lot of times you just want to escape from everything. Yeah. And you got to know who you are. And yeah. so, um, yeah, obviously you need things like that, though, you do. to really determine like, all right, this is, this is not going to get the best of me anymore. So yeah, yeah. And I it makes think, you stronger. Yeah, and it took him a second to like realize that because like when he was hurt, like I've never been hurt before, so I never like knew what he was going through. But like I was like, babe, like you know, football's not everything. You have to focus on school, and I was trying to make him feel better. But like talking to him, like was a different vibe. You know, like I could tell he was down, but mm -hmm. I didn't know like how I could make it better. Like I tried to call him, but like. It wouldn't, you know, like it wouldn't really help. Like we'd be talking, but yeah, he was still upset. But like I didn't it's know tough. what to do. But all like after a while, he kind of like started to figure it out. Yeah, after a couple of weeks, I got like used to it. Like after like maybe maybe like a month and a half, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, let me just focus on his rehab so I can get back and just focus on like school, like get good grades and stuff. You mm -hmm. know, dive into whatever you can to get your mind off of it in a way. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <Literally. laughs> I love that. That was me when I was done. My senior right. year, when I was not able to be a gymnast, I'm like, Juwan, you're my everything. Right. <laughs> That's and she, and she, and we was in the same class, and she was helping me out with schoolwork. Oh yeah, essays and all. Because that was that was that was tough. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Was, was um, tough. let's see. Okay, what is one thing you're looking forward to, and one thing you're nervous about being a couple in the NFL? Mm. Oh my gosh. I definitely say like I'm looking forward to just like go, like this is like cliche but you know like going to the games like yeah, finding cliche. my group of friends like taking pictures before and after like that type of stuff yeah. nervous about I guess like I get kind of like nervous like damn like like all these girls are going to be after him but like the same like it's it's not going to change like I know it's not going to change anything because yeah. like I know him but it's like since his platform is larger now you know like I think of it but yeah that's really that's really it i feel like we'll be straight i yeah. mean i feel like we just gotta like just get used to everything like things are gonna be different obviously from college yeah. like on all levels but like i feel like we'll adapt to it pretty well for sure we've been together for a while too so yeah yeah it's definitely fun i feel like games i mean college games are always fun but i feel like in the nfl it's just a whole different vibe like it's so yeah. fun just like especially for the girl being able to go to the games and like have a good time with the other girls right. and just like the thing for me is um it's a really weird dynamic when it becomes his job not his like 
sport that he's playing. Like, I don't yeah. know how to explain it, but, like, when I used to watch football before, I'd be like, ha ah, like, you know, like, yeah. looking in the wrong way, watching the wrong thing, like, not really, right. like, just kind of at the game having a good time, and now I'm like... Right, now you got to... You know, like... It's, like, it's, right. it's really business. Right. It's yeah. a business. It is. It is. It's his career, and I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh, like, it's weird how the vibe changes, and it's so sweet at the same time, yeah. like, watching the other girls kind of, like, really be invested in, like, their man, like, it's actually, like, yeah. their livelihood. Yeah, the one, yeah, the one thing about me that was different, which you kind of said, is just, it's not going to be much different, it's just that you got people who have kids, and people who are, like, 15 years older than you like i was with drew yes. and drew was literally in high school when i was first born like <laughs> and, that's, and that's and that's the crazy yeah. thing to think about like you may not yeah. build the strongest relationship with some people and that's fine and then you're gonna have some people who are gonna be the, your, your best friends for the rest of your life so mm-hmm. you know it's, it's just a weird you know weird locker room a weird space to be in but it's the most precious thing to be in because you know once you leave you can be like dang like I really gotta Damn. leave, but when yeah. you're there, you just you just there, you in it. You see so many people, so many backgrounds, and you learn a bunch. Yeah. And that's the one thing I, I took from my first year is just that you just want to be a sponge, like just listen to everything, like not listen to everything, but filter out you know what you don't need, but really take yeah. in you know a lot of what everybody has to say because it's that's a lot of it's a lot of information there, a lot of <laughs> wise people in there. So especially right. on the Bills, it's a good organization. So. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like also like in college since we were long distance and we had the same season I only got to go to one of his games so like yeah. I've only seen him I only seen him play one time so, so like it's gonna be a lot different like yeah. it's just gonna be I feel like a huge culture shock for me yeah. right oh that's so exciting Everybody. you can like go to breakfast play a game with the crew <laughs> yeah I'm like excited for the whole nine yards because I never really got to do it. Oh, that and the one cool. game I did go to, like we had a game. So like he played at UNC, which is like 30 minutes from my school. And I had a tournament that weekend that we had just finished. So like we got back to Raleigh, like while he was already in the first quarter. So I had to rush from my game, Dang. like off the bus, change and like get to his game. Yeah. Before, like, it was too late. <laughs> so, yeah. like, what time did you get there? Like, second quarter? Yeah, I got there in like the second quarter. Uh, That's like patient. such a long distance relationship thing. Like, that is right. the cutest because, like, yeah. I love that. I remember one time she I went missed to the whole game. So, <laughs> I was the whole game was so there. <laughs> when he was doing his fifth year in Oregon, I would go out there and like fly in for each game. But there was a Friday game and I had work, so I flew like right after work to try to get there in time. And I got there in, like, I probably flew in and I got in by the second quarter. And I zoomed to the game and I had my duffel bag. But because I had my duffel bag and one of the coaches was sp- supposed to come and, like, let me into the game, like, through the back door. And, or not the back, it was, like, the, the, back like the door. parents station, like, like yeah. the parents area. Uh, yeah. And, um... So you can't bring that bag in. Couldn't bring the bag in. And so I stood outside watching, like, through the outside, like, on the big screen, just, like, in the freezing. No! <laughs> yeah, in Oregon, it was cold, no, too. Crazy. Oregon, it was cold, too, so. It was, it was really cold. I felt so bad. You're, you're a boy dog for that right there. <laughs> she, she did that, too, and it's, yeah, like, it's it's so cute crazy. that you're doing that for him. Cause, it's big, like, it, yeah. it, shows, it shows, like, not how much you care, but just how much, like, meaning it is that someone is that important to you. So, mm, to do yeah, things yeah. like that. Because that's some crazy stuff right there. It is. Yeah. You're sitting out there in the cold just for a game that you ain't even seeing. Right. Or yeah. being there in the second quarter, you just like, dang, I missed the first quarter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, okay. That's the second question. Oh, this is a good one. Second. How? Oh. You got it or me? I got it. Okay, or go you ahead, can you it. can go ahead. You go ahead. I'll get All right. So, so Nina, this is for you. It says, um... Like, how have, with social media and all this other stuff, I mean, TikTok is something that, you know, you're known for. So, um, you know, being on TikTok, you know, hearing hate, seeing hate, you know, how are you guys dealing with that? And Greg, how are you dealing with that, seeing her, what people are saying about her or saying about your relationship? How are you guys dealing with that? Yeah. I feel like there was a time, definitely, like, end of last year where it kind of got to us. And we were like, okay, we're not going to make as many TikToks because like people would just say stuff like people were making up stuff about us. They would somehow get our phone numbers and like make up text messages and like 
fake screenshots and stuff mm -hmm. and we were like okay how do we stop this so we're like okay we're gonna stop posting each other yeah. and like we just didn't know how to how to do with it but then after a while we were just like okay this isn't gonna stop like i mean it has but like right. people are always gonna have something to say but like we can't yeah. let that affect how we live our lives and what we do because like yeah. we know each other i feel like i guess so uh, because like they kept trying or whatever but we kept on ignoring it Mm -hmm. I guess people just kind of like just it, it's faded away with them. Stop like trying to just come after us for every little thing. Like it was, it'd be so random. Yeah, like, we get random text messages and like it's so, it was so stupid. But like it's yeah, dope though. Like, yeah. like crazy. I think the thing is, is a lot of times the vibe that I get because that happened to us like probably around the time like he declared, <laughs> and I feel like it's usually like right yeah, when he's, he's like we're about to make it is when these people yeah. like, and it's like I think it's like honestly girls that are like trying to like break you up. Like, that's oh, the yeah. vibe I get. Yeah, I think it was that 100% too. Yeah, probably. like, absolutely. It's just like, hating. it's just like so frustrating too. And like, it wasn't just like, he would get the messages, like I would get them too. So like, at first, like he got one. And then I got one and I was like, okay, so we're both getting these. So obviously, we're both like, like getting these things. It has to be coordinated. Like, yeah, right. people aren't just like, I don't know, they're making stuff up, but they're not getting their stories straight. And there's like, just a lot like, going on text messages of like us texting somebody it'd be like greg or like nina has a name and it'd be like somebody talking like it'd be like i miss they, you they so much they wouldn't like, be talking like us they'd be like using like different slang and stuff like that yeah. like oh. it was, just it was a so lot, stupid a right it was annoying though but well, that's, that's that's the one thing when you start to get you know bigger and i, and I don't think it's going to get any better i mean it's just you guys being better with dealing with it but it's, it's going to continue to happen that's just i actually um i love the way you guys joke about it a lot of time right like on tiktok and stuff when you guys are like just making fun of it right. it's like it's gonna happen either way so might as well laugh at it yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah that's the best part and it's like even now like since he got drafted like obviously i made i made more tiktoks about that because like i'm excited about it and like people like i i made a tiktok like we're so excited to go be a part of bill's mafia and people are like we like you're not playing and i'm like well he's my boyfriend and i support him so yeah we're excited like it's just crazy that people say yeah that's, just, yeah. that's that's gonna be it though like a, a lot of people don't understand a, a, lot, a lot of people don't want to see people happy because of, of where they're at yeah. and you know, obviously you don't want to get into that but a lot of people they behind the screen being, you know, finger thugs and things like that. They're also like, like four years old. <laughs> yeah. And they also like, yeah, 12, 12, 12 years old. Sometimes, sometimes these are actual adults and it's just that's sad. That's true too. But like, yeah. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's a different story. Right. That's a different <laughs> story. All right. Last question. Nina. Mm -hmm. What is your... <laughs> well, well, you got one for him too afterwards. But go ahead. Do I? I do. Well, ask it because this is my last question. But it goes off of yours. All right. What is your future NFL wife routine? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like, I don't even know, because I don't even know what the schedules are going to be like. Like, I've barely even been to games. So I guess, like, one day, your dream game dream, day. Dream game day. <laughs> OK. So by this time, at least I plan on having a puppy. So let's say, like, I'm going <laughs> to oh wake up in the morning. Uh, I don't know. Get dressed. Take the, well, take the dog out, eat breakfast, then get yeah. dressed. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know, maybe get some brunch or lunch with the girls yeah. and then yeah. head to the game. I don't know. Get some, <laughs> get some margaritas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. I can yeah. see it. I think, that would, I think that would be it. I don't know. I love it. No, <laughs> these no games have a... Uh, these yeah. games have a little bit of drinkity drinks at the yeah. games, and we definitely took part in that, so... <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> you you yeah. star so cool. <laughs> It's so good. No, you're gonna have a good time. Good yeah. time for sure. Greg, what is your NFL um, player routine morning tonight? Uh, I'd say uh, wake up, wake up for sure. Uh, pray, read the Bible a little bit. I always read the Bible a little bit more on game day, so like, that's just something I do as routine. Right. Do that, eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Eat breakfast. Probably like just chill, just watch some TV. I probably wake up a little bit earlier. Let's say like it's a night game. Uh -huh. So I guess I would chill, then like probably go in for meetings or whatever. But yeah. before that, before that, I'd probably just like, like I said, just watch something just to get my mind off the game. I like doing that. Yeah. And basically just go through a whole entire routine, get a W, obviously, <laughs> and come home and just like, just chill, whether it's with my girl or if my family's over, but just be chilling and laughing and having a good night or like maybe even like with some teammates or something. 
Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Dope. I love it. Yeah, I'll be dope. I like it. You just love the Aiden Iron. 